Hello and welcome back to my garage. In today's video we're going to change a engine mount or transmission mount from a Renault Clio. This is the same Clio we did the wheel bearing for and if you have seen that then you know that I mentioned that this one is bad. How do you know that it's bad? Well first of all uh, the engine is moving a lot in the car but most of you out there are not constantly checking everything if everything is working correctly. I don't, so why would you? The biggest clue you're going to get when this is uh, well worn out is when you accelerate and most of the time slowly accelerate and you get a shock, a little bit of an oomph, of a dump, of an well at least you get a shock in in your car you definitely feel it in your steering wheel and in your pedals and if you're going to brake then you got also a well again a thump in the steering wheel and your pedals if that happens to you then please check this the chances are really high that is one of the uh, engine mounts and particularly this one because this is controlling the side side to side movement of the engine. Yeah, I know it's complicated, but the engine of course is mounted sideways. So if the engine is rocking to the well front of the car and the back of the car or to left or the right of the engine is just how you want to uh, <laughs> how you want to view it. But then again, if the engine is rocking back and forward like so, then you're going to feel that. Then again, if this one isn't bad, check your other engine mounts. And all set, let's get going. Well, here we have the little bastard. And first of all, I'm going to show you the movement. And what I like to do is just stick a pry bar behind it. And well, I think you uh, get the picture. If you just take the engine and rock it back and forward, you get the same. So uh, that is a lot of movement. So you definitely going to feel that in your uh, steering wheel and your pedals, and maybe even your butt. Two bolts, one here, and this one here, and this is a 17, I think, and this is. 16 or 15 Well, this one is a 16 And this is a 18 yeah. The plastic bit you see here is facing downwards and there is a washer on top of it, so be sure you keep it like that. And then it's just a matter of bolting everything back together. Well, that's it. Let's see how the movement is now. Of course, there is still movement, but uh, it isn't shaking like mad like it, uh, like it did. Well, that's it. Easy enough, right? And as you can see, this one is really gone. It's just torn right there and even the bottom side is completely loose so i think i can just pop it out if i well it is still a little bit in there but as you can see it is really broken so it's a good thing we replaced it it isn't that expensive and it makes your ride much more enjoyable and that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it or at least learned something from it. And if you did, then please give it a like. 
if you want to follow me around, you know what to do, and I will see you next time. Bye!